okay hi guys uh, today we're gonna see about uh, the regulation of fault editor by uh, mmf methods we have already covered uh, emf methods so uh, the apparatus required will be voltmeter ammeter and the rear charge in the corresponding ranges uh, guys this is a circuit diagram for this experiment as uh, the procedure will be uh, keeping the rear start in the minimum position and with the tpsc this three phase switch open the motor supply is switched on and then the motor is started using the three phase three point starter this three point starter uh, by moving the handle from its off position to the on position and the motor is brought to its rated speed by adjusting the rear start on the motor field circuit this is the motor field circuit you can see the field here a 220 volt dc supply dc supply is switched on onto the field winding of the all, all uh, of the alternator by closing the corresponding dpsc switch so uh, for the oc test using the potential divider current in the field circuit is increased in the step of 0.1 uh, ampere under the each step of the alternator induced voltage indicated by the voltmeter and the corresponding field current id are noted down this is this procedure is continued till the alternator voltage is 110 percentage of its rated voltage for ac test after completing the oc test the current is brought to its minimum value using the potential divider and then tpsc switch is closed the rated current is made to flow through the armature of the stator winding by carefully adjusting the potential divider at this moment the value of ir required to pass the rated current through the stator winding is noted down after completing the sc test with the tpst switch is open the rheostat are brought to the original position in sequence and then the main supplies are switched off After completing the OCSC test, we are gonna note down the values. The values came are listed below here. For SC test, there will be only two values. So uh, with these values, we are gonna um, draw a graph like this one. Here we plot uh, EF, IA and then in X axis, we are gonna plot IF. So this graph is uh, very much important for uh, MMF method. For MMF method, we first need uh, two values, FF and FAR. FF is the field current required to produce the rated voltage per phase. It is 2.15 ampere. I will show how it came. This is the graph. After uh, dividing the EF1 and IA1 that is 100 by 3 we, go, we get a value 239.6 Here we are going to plot 239.6 and where it cut, cut the curve we just going to draw a straight line So this is 2.1.5 So the value here So the value is 2.1.5 for the FAR value it is 1 ampere for FAR for FAR uh, this IA in Y2 axis IA we gonna plot 4 for 4 draw a straight line Draw a straight line and then it cuts the straight line uh, at 1. So, this is the FAR value. So, after finding these two values for lagging, we gonna form we gonna uh, substitute the values in this formula and for leading in this formula. So, the tabular column will be VT, FF, and FAR. VT uh, I have shown you that value will be 239.6 and FF 
ff and uh, far will be 2.15 and uh, 1 ampere so this is the tabular column uh, after calculating the values will be uh, this one these are correct values so uh, I will show only two values uh, for the model calculation for lagging and leading with this value uh, we gonna like uh, with this value we gonna uh, draw a graph for a uh, leading and lagging power factor with the percentage regulation in the uh, uh, y-axis after drawing this graph with the help of this uh, tabular column values the experiment is over Thank you.